that because I went there to be a seamless experience. I think one of the questions you're asking about what some of the questions are, many of the right. credit unions still want to know, do they have our imprimatur at NCUA to embrace fintech technology? Do they have our imprimatur to embrace blockchain, distributed ledger technology, and even engaging in digital assets? And the answer to that is a resounding yes. They have our imprimatur. We've not had to give a rulemaking because our statutes, our legislation and regulations, they current, currently now allow them to engage in those activities. But as they would with any activity, do it pre Prudently and pragmatically, are you going through the appropriate due diligence? We as an agency, we were one of the one of the few agencies that really did tell our regulated entities that you are in, you are more than welcome when it came to digital assets and blockchain. We gave them supervisory guidance, telling them look at it as they, as they would with any third party. So we're looking at are you doing the appropriate vetting, the vendor due diligence? Are you looking at a lot of the other things that you would do if you were really embarking upon any other relationship? And I know our peer regulators have taken a different stance where they're saying, well, we're not going to tell you, you can do it. You need to ask us, let, for ask us for permission, <laughs> right. and we won't, and we will give you a letter saying we're not denying it. Mm -hmm. But that type of regulatory uncertainty and regulatory um, vacuum is what we're trying to prevent at the agency. So I think many of our regulated entities will say that we've been very forthright, been very forward, and I'm very proud that all three board members are so in unison and wanted to embrace the technology. I mean, I really had really great joy when I was able to get all of their support in creating the new office and moving forward with some of the other ideas with the, the new FinTech director position. So I think the one thing that I hope comes loudly and clearly from our conversation today is that we do not want to stand in your way, provided you're going through the appropriate uh, due diligence as you would with any third party vendor, as you would engage with any partnership. I think you need to measure the complexity, measure the risk as you would with any mm -hmm. activity. And